Hi guys, the Colonel here from That's Fishing. Now what we're doing is we've got Lee here and we're doing a little bit of a special on Lee's motor. Now Lee's got a Yamaha 115 Saltwater Series two-stroke motor and we're giving it a whole boat, a complete new motor. Now you've wangled a bit of a deal with one of your blokes who've been servicing this motor for such a long time yeah. and we're taking an old motor off and putting the latest technology motor on. Now, if I've understood it right, it's a four cylinder, fuel injected, 115 motor, but we're not gonna tell you what it is until we show you when we go to fit it up. Now, what made you decide to do that, mate? Right timing, right? Well, this motor has been a great motor. Ripper motor. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna do a few tests, a few yep. fuel tests. Um, RPM versus kilometers an hour tests and then we're going to take this one off put the new one on and we're going to go and do the same tests on that one and try and show some advantages of repairing older boats with newer motors and uh, hopefully it all works out and we get a bit more fuel economy we can travel a bit further and uh, explore some new fishing spots so that's the plan yeah so and as you've seen, this boat has been on the show quite a few times now. It's at the start of this show at the moment. Now, this boat is a great boat. Now, how old's the actual boat itself? Well, that's debatable, but we think it's around about 1980 to 1981. Yep, and we're putting the latest technology on this boat. It's just going to just make it an amazing boat, isn't it? Well, One, it's lighter. Two, it's fuel-injected four-cylinder four-stroke. So we don't have to mix fuels or have right. oil injection. There's no fuel smokiness coming out anywhere. There's uh, better for the environment. Um, yeah, and, and hopefully, uh, yeah, you know, it works out that the fuel economy is saving. Obviously, the money we're going to save on fuel, yep, uh, it'll pay for itself in the long run. So you do have Absolutely. to outlay the money to start with. But I think if you've got an older boat that's a good hull, um, it's worth spending the money to upgrade it to a new motor and. Yeah, get out there fishing. Well guys, we've done our test. We've uh, left Turretin here and we've traveled all the way down to Tortoise Head, back around the middle spit, all the way back to Turretin. And what's our result so far, Lee? Well, we've just traveled 56.4 kilometers at an average speed of 45 kilometers an hour. So now we'll go back, we'll refuel the boat, we'll check how many liters, liters of fuel we've, we've used. We've and obviously we'll do the same thing with the new motor. Yep. We'll be able to compare the two and let you know how it goes. This good girl didn't miss a beat either. It was all cruising around there at about four and a half RPM, were we? Yep. About, about yep. right, yeah. Um, someone brought the cans, but someone forgot the fishing rods, but we won't go there. Yeah, I know. No, we won't go there. All right. Cheers. Anyway, that's the last time you'll see the old girl. Yes, a brand new motor. I'm really excited about this. It's really going to be good. So am I. Well, good day, Pete. Now, we're down here in your workshop. Yes. And you're doing the motor retro, retro yep. bit, as yep. we uh, seen. And uh, we'll only give you one guess of what kind of motor it is. <laughs> uh, Becker, it is. Black is beautiful. It is, isn't it? And doesn't it match up nicely? It does, yeah. Lee's boat has um, he's done a pretty good job on refurbishing it and all the rest yep. of it over the years. The only problem has been the colour of the motor that was on the back of the boat. Oh, it was um, a good motor, though. It was a good motor, and, was... and they are quite a good engine. Yep. Um, but it's certainly old technology. Now, you used to do all the servicing yes. for him, and yes. you've been pushing him towards this motor for a little while it, now. We've suggested it a few times, yep. and, and we've been really excited because of the, the new product that has turned up. Yep. In, uh, the start was the 150, yep. and then now we're running from the 75 through to the 115. And, and that's been a real, uh, you know, real bonus for it because of its, its weight, its capacity, um, its size, yep. um, its get up and go, its bottom end acceleration and mid range is, is quite phenomenal. Yep. Um, as good, if not better, than an Optimax, um, oh, which really? is a direct injected two stroke. Oh, okay um, then, yep. They've really aimed these things for bottom end torque, mid yep. range, um, which is what you really want bar crossings, entrances, and all the rest of it. Yep. This is a fairly heavy boat. Um, with the modifications he's done to it. Uh, it's a DV, as being a Haynes as they are, um, and they really do like this new engine um, because of the big gearbox, the big prop, and the big capacity. So this particular motor comes out with two different legs, 
One with a gearboxes. smaller Small gearbox, gearbox and a bigger yep. gearbox. One just so you can run a bigger prop. That's, yes. Is that yes. basically it? So basically this is the command thrust, um, yep. so the big gearbox. Um, it, it's basically the gearbox off the 150 horsepower. Oh really? Okay um, then. So the gearbox will be unbreakable. Yeah. Um, and it enables it to, to swing the V6 style propellers as opposed to the smaller gearbox which runs um, the old Optimax, you know, three smaller, stuff, sort smaller of smaller diameter prop. So yep. bigger diameter, more get up and go. Now, one of the biggest features that you've been talking about for a while with Lee is the fuel economy on the electronics and all that, and the fuel, fuel injection. Fuel economy and all is that. is quite phenomenal um, yep. compared to the two-stroke. He won't know himself, um, and he does a few miles, so the fuel consumption is always going to be a bit of an issue. Yeah. Um, so these are very very good. Um, and, and, and comparable, if not better, to most other engines in this horsepower range. So yes, certainly yeah. far superior to the older Merc uh, 115, which yep. was a good engine. It was heavier, um, it was a bit much slower to get going, and it used more fuel. This is lighter, better on fuel, better bottom end, better mid-range. Now, your old motor that you used to service the lead, yes. the weight difference between this motor and that motor is about three kilos, three kilos lighter, 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 this motor. Yeah. So uh, well, it's got the advantage of the yes. three kilos, yes. plus all the fuel savings, That's correct. plus the thrust command. Yes, everything is just plus plus isn't it? to being a, a better package all, all the way around. Kingy, hopefully, for the day. Yeah, mate, took a good run. Did, did, didn't it? And uh, we've just been watching some of our friends right beside us get onto a couple. Oh, mate, they've, had, they've been on for a while. Yep. And, uh, well, welcome to That's Fishing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, welcome to That's Fishing. That's it. Good stuff, mate. And we got Lee here with us as well. We're on Lee's boat today. Hi, Lee. Lee's just waiting for another rod to go. Wait. Wait, and we've left a couple of extra rods out, a couple of liveys. And uh, how exciting is this? Oh, mate, unbelievable. Yep. I think he's going to go for another one, Bruce. Oh, they will. They always do. He's having a bit of a rest at the moment. Yep. Uh, a little bit, I'll just get him in the cabin and get out the way. There we go. How's it going, mate? Oh, another good run. Yeah, we're all a bit tangled up here. Tad Tangle. Lee's doing his best to untangle it. Well, well done. Excellent stuff, mate. Especially with liveys. Yep. I got some yakas earlier today. It's got a fair bit of drag on that. Uh, well, go for it, Lee. I'm in your way again, am I? <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Oh, and the boys just got another one. <laughs> hey! Well, I think you're saying yay to us. Oh, yay to us! All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Well, it's right up on the surface at the moment. Yep. Yeah. Right up on the surface. Yeah, mate. Oh, he's cutting across there. He's done a good job. He's, 
<laughs> King Rod Mover. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, you see him on the surface there? Yeah. Tracking across the surface. There he is. Where's the GoPro? Oh, he's good. Is he? Yeah, he looks alright. Tracking the boat now. Swim with the boat. Whoops. I'm on the blue. Only about uh, 20 metres out now. All right, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, I saw the boat. <laughs> Rick's hanging on. Oh, he's coming to the bottom of the boat. Get him up. Yep, I'll just get this right out of the way. Quick. Oh, shit. Now back again. There he's coming up. <laughs> Got the gap going. Sees the boat. He's gonna, he's gonna get angry. Beautiful boat. Oh, yeah. what a beautiful fish, mate. That's it. Got him. <laughs> Thank you, guys. And look at Sean's over there. <laughs> and I'll zoom in. Well, there we go, beautiful fish, guys. <laughs> well, here we go, Eric. Congratulations, mate. Oop. All right, are we happy? Yes, we are. All right. Wow. All right. That's a good fish. Hopefully, we get another one. I've just took oh. myself the gas. No. No, he's a, a stonker. What a sunker. There you go. There you go, guys. Beautiful king. Uh, Victorian king, bass off. strike. Yep, absolutely beautiful. Had a bass strike. You have a very good fight as well. Yep. It's a chunky fish. These are in great condition as well. And uh, great fight, especially on Bray. Absolutely beautiful. Enjoying it. Well, I'm really, really excited about this. Uh, we've done our fuel test when fuel run. And uh, the run that we've done, we used 38 litres. Yes. And we're going to do exactly the same run yes. again. Yep. And we're going to see how what, we, it, what it actually does. Yep. Proper run. The beauty of this, of course, with the Smartcraft gauge, is you can see it's actually litres per hour. As yep. Now, explain the, the gauge itself. Now, it's a gauge and it tells you exactly how much fuel it's using. Yes. It gives you a litres per hour. Yep. It has uh, a trim pop-up screen. So you can be looking at your engine temperature screen. Yep. You hit the trim button, the trim... Go pop, pop, up. pop up on the screen, yep. once you let the button go, it'll disappear again. So oh, okay. You've got litres per hour, it's got um, descriptive text. If there is an issue, it'll pop up on the screen What if there is an issue or something. So you've got everything on it. Stuck in the mud, engine's getting hot, alarm will go off, pops up on the screen, engine's overheating. It is always hot out there, people tend to dredge and find the mud. Yes. Um, Lee wasn't too bad at that, I don't think he had a lot no, of we're we're lucky off, off the skeg. No. Um, but, it, but it can occur. So, you know, that's one of the biggest things, the advantage of Smartcraft. If you do get stuck in the mud, bring up the temperature screen, have a look at the temperature. Peter said once we get past 60 degrees, we're starting to heading to no man's land. Once yep. we get to 70 odd, we're well and truly heading to no man's land. We need to do something about yeah, it. Yeah, turn it off and turn have it a look. Off, sort out what's going on. Yeah, and it's all there, all the alarms, all there, everything. The alarms and the information on the gauge as well. Awesome. All right, mate. Well, our next test is to get it out. And uh, see how it goes. Get it. Well, thanks for uh, that, no mate. And we'll be much. back here again uh, with a, uh, another rundown of what this is actually doing and, and what you think of yep. the whole setup. Through. All right, I'm the Colonel for uh, number three now. Right, oh, hi guys, the Colonel here. Now we've done our uh, big motor transplant with Pete or Lee. And we've gone out and done our big fuel test now. Now Lee's been in between all this running the motor in. We've just done the service today, didn't That's you Pete? service today, yep. And then we've gone and done our big run, exactly what we've shown you before. We've done how many k's? Oh, uh, just over 50 k's today. So it's 50 k's for how many litres of juice? Well, at the moment we're looking at about um, 23 litres. 23 litres for 50 k's. Last time we've done 
36 38 litres of 38 litres of fuel with the two stroke with the two stroke 38 versus 23 23 it's a big I, difference i tell you what if that doesn't tell you it's good i don't know what is it's a big difference and that's generally what you'd expect and and to go along with that yeah. we've got our boat here with a 90 horsepower on yep. a caravan cobra um, flatter boat, we've done about the same distance and yeah. we've used about 20 litres of fuel. It's a 90 yeah. horsepower, not yep. a 115. So the two boats side by side doing the same trip yep. um, pretty much you know, sums up what we would expect to see in regard to how much fuel I would use. So about the same size boat, yep. slightly different motors, matching the motors to the boat size, yep. about the same thing again. Different weight boat. These boat's heavier, it's a deeper yep. V, it's a bit harder to push through the water, rated to over 115. Yep. Ours is a shallower V, not quite as heavy, yep. um, doesn't need as much horsepower, it is only rated to 90, which would be more, but that's what it's rated to, so that's what we put on. So basically um, we've doubled the distance, haven't we, on your fuel yep. tank? Uh, well, since, since I've had it on, I've done two trips that have both been over 100 k's and I haven't even put 50 litres of fuel on it yet. Oh, 100, 100 each time, k's and not over 50 Each time litres. both been under 50 litres of fuel, so... <laughs> to me, that's just that's awesome. Plus, it's smoother, it's quieter, uh, it goes a little bit faster. I think we've gained four or five clicks out of it. Uh, mid range is quite a bit faster. I've got some specs in there of what we did today, and mid range is actually quite a bit quicker than the two stroke. Well, it's, now what uh, we're going to top do. Top speed is quicker too. Yep. What we're going to do is we're going to put a big list up and uh, show you comparisons. Comparisons, yes. Yeah. It's always important to be able to see not just the top speed, but to see the fuel usage um, yeah. uh, on that trip, and also to see what fuel you're using, because I'm assuming you guys mapped the fuel as you were going, yep. so we know what litres per hour you're using through it. We can provide you with the figures with our boat as well. You can look at it as a comparison. Yep. Um, you know, the 90 does this, the 115 does that. We pretty much use the same amount of fuel for the same trip. Yeah. yeah. Because again, you're powered different the boats, motor to different the boat. Different characteristics. Yeah. And that's why it's good to come and see Pete, someone like Pete, who knows their boats, knows the motors, and tell you which one switch. More than happy to do it. You've always got to be mindful of repowering boats. In some cases, some boats are unsuited to the extra weight of a four stroke. Yeah. But in this case, this new engine, 2.1 litre, it's the same weight as the Optimax that um, we used to have on our boat. Yep. Um, and it's basically the same weight as the motor that Lee had on the boat before the Emmy. Yeah. Um, I think it was three kilos lighter. Three, three kilos, yeah. Three, three kilos lighter. Plus, yeah. also, the other advantage is there's not a lot of room down the back of that boat for a second battery. Yeah, uh, we, took we took the oil, oil bottle, bottle out. out, we put a second battery in. So we got a second battery in. Now no it's more got a bit, oil. More, bit more secure in knowing that yeah. he's running a winch and all the electronics, live boat yeah. tank. Um, the charging system on these engines now are quite good, they're 38 amp, um, and they make it a quite a low uh, engine speed. Yep. Um, so if he's doing too many widening shifts and um, picking up the anchor too many times, it's going to put a fair bit of uh, load on load the mo on yeah. the, on the bit battery. Of so it's going to put you know, more voltage back into it being a higher charging system. Uh, and, and also, you know, now the oil bottle is gone, you can put a second battery in. It was oh, just we have, to put yeah, it that's what we've done, yeah. So. Which we never did, yeah. All right, guys, let's come to the end of our little Mercury test. Yep. And we're really, really so Thank you so much, Pete, Thank for you. Thanks, coming Thanks, on Lee. board with uh, That's Fish and Lee yeah. and yeah, helping us out. And, uh, and a real big thanks to Mercury. So if you're ever looking at doing another motor or you're thinking of doing... Uh, Asking questions about this. By all means, means give us a call. Yeah, and, help out. And oh, seriously, God. just do it. Just even if you get online and check this stuff out, it's it's really well and truly wakes up the old boat. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. It's well it surprised me. Well, I'm the Colonel from That's Fishing. Pete Lee, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Cheers. See you.